Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We would love to have you as part of the Elegance family. So if you hit that subscribe button below, make sure to turn on your post notification so that you can be notified every time we post a new video. Today we will show you how to make three beautiful baby shower centerpieces. If you think you may be interested in making these projects, just continue to keep watching and let's get into making these beautiful pieces. The materials you will need, a 8 to 10 inch wood stick, paint of your choice, a pot of your choice, a paint brush, and a rose ball. So now what we're going to do is paint the pot with one layer of the white coat and then after we paint the pot with one layer of white coat, we will apply glitter and then repaint it. The glitter is only for texture. If you don't want texture, then you skip the glitter and just paint the pot. We did not paint the pot underneath, but if you choose to paint the pot underneath, it would be perfectly fine. We just chose to leave it as is. And if you choose not to paint your pot underneath, make sure that you even it out and it's nice and neat. On this part, what we're doing is we're applying the glitter because we are, are applying the texture to the pot. Like I said before, if you do not want the texture on your pot, just skip the glitter and just apply the two coats onto the pot. But right now we are just applying the glitter because we are going to um, have texture to the pot. Now after we apply the glitter, we're going to take the pot outside and we will be spraying it. So now the pot is outside and we are spraying it completely white and we're going to bring it back in and when we bring the pot back in we will paint it again and then apply more glitter to the pot. So now we are applying the second coat of paint and the reason for applying it over the glitter is to add some texture. If you do not want texture added, then you skip the glitter and you just apply the paint. And you're going to do it on the next two pots as well. on this part since we applied paint over the glitter for texture we are now applying the glitter back to the uh, pot to give it that sparkly look that we are trying to achieve
as you can see we did make a little bit of a mess while painting the wooden sticks because we could not find our gloves but if you do have gloves then it would probably be a wise thing to use them if you have them but we needed to get this project out of the way and so we had to use our hands So now that the wooden sticks are painted, we are going to wrap the ribbon around the wooden sticks, almost like a candy cane. It is a simple and easy process to do. and we purchased it at the 99 cent store for $1.99. We did get a quite a bit of them because that was a really good deal. Um, and they are made out of foam, but they're really cute. If you're not familiar with how to make a rose ball, we will link a video below so that you will know how to make a rose ball in case you would like to make this DIY. But there were a few little foams out of place and we just kind of use the glue gun to put it back in place and we will apply also glue in the insert as we insert the wooden stick in to make sure that it's firm and that it will hold and that it will stay in place. On this part we did remove one of the petals so that we could have room to insert the stick inside of the rose ball. On this part, make sure you hold your wooden stick in place for about a minute just to make sure that it adheres to the styrofoam ball.
This is the filler that we're using. We purchased it from the Dollar Tree and we are spraying it pink. We are going to put this at the bottom of the pot to cover the styrofoam that's in place. We are now making the mommy to be bowls to set underneath the styrofoam balls and to just have them as center a centerpiece for the main table. moving on to project number two the materials you will need a 7 8 inch styrofoam square 7 8 inch mirror a glass teddy bear from the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store Mod Podge spray paint the color of your choice ribbon pearls or gems and also the lettering
as you can see the teddy bear is a piggy bank it is a detachable piggy bank we glued it with some glue sticks so it will be easy to detach in case you ever wanted to take it off of the mirror when you spray your letters make sure you're spraying both sides of your letters because if not you will see if you're applying it to a mirror you will see the opposite of the letter if it's not colored so just so you won't make that mistake like we did make sure you spray both sides Project number three, you will need a candle holder, three glass teddy bears from the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store. You will need ribbon, the color of your choice, and you will need pearls or some type of gem. On this part, we decided to use a bead of pearl. The bead of pearl gives it more of a soft look, more of a baby look. But if you decide you don't want to use a bead of pearl and you want to use some other type of stone, you can do that as well. It should be just as nice. So we are tying this bow to the candle holder and we will show you another way of how to do it. Some people like it tied to the candle holder, some people like it attached to the candle holder. So we will show you how to also tie it and then attach it to the candle holder. Also, the ribbon is optional. You can change the color out. If you're having a boy, obviously you could do it blue, yellow, any color you desire to do it so you're not stuck with just a pink bow. Just continue to keep um, pulling at the bow until you get it perfectly in a neat bow. So this is the second way that you can do a bow. You can attach it to the outside of the candle holder and that's still a nice way to present a bow. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial for today and if so, please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so at this time so you can receive all notifications every time we post a new video. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you. And we will see you on our next video. Bye.